Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and War Game World. And if you're new to my channel, you never know what you're going to see from video to video. And today we're doing a Bill's Basement Wargaming build process of what I'm working on. I know many people received presents from Santa Claus. Well, I'm going to just start going through some of the things I'm working on in the basement through the next couple days on vacation. This is an MPC German World War II infantryman throwing a hand grenade. He has no firearm weapon. Well, Josh and his 3D printer printed me a batch of MP40s. So, I am in the process of gluing MP40s and then I'll paint up the guns on these Germans. So they will have weapons. Well, you know I have the Arnhem game coming up at the Williamsburg Muster in February. I needed to have an umbrella. Well, there we go. One umbrella. So, uh, quite happy with uh, Josh and his 3D printing like always. What else am I working on? Well, I have one heck of a lot of leftover figures still I'm working on that Dan the Ratman Park Ranger at Fort Frederick gave me. So I have these Hessians, um, some Fort Apache Frontiersmen, and some Grenadiers. I'll start to glue them on my heavy poker chips, which I've run several videos about. These actually have metal in them, and it makes these plastic figures have the weight of a metal figure. And of course, as always, I'll be using E6000 glue, which actually adheres to Airfix uh, BMC Plastic Toy Soldier Company plastic, um, and armies and plastic figures also. This stuff is awesome. You can uh, trade heads out on figures, and this will actually keep those figures glued together. Well, let's take another look at what else I plan on doing. I'm I am uh, at home the next several days for vacation got a new puppy so uh, let's see what other things because of the new puppy we're not doing a historic sites for the next few days all right I have uh, 500 skeletons and I need to glue all these to poker chips and these will fight my edging court 54 millimeter army at some point um, I have also considered gluing these to strips of cardboard I haven't quite uh, decided yet. It's still in a thought process. But there's a lot of them. And uh, so I can do a fantasy skeleton against knights in armor type of game. All right, what else do I have working on in the basement? Let's take a look. Well, this is the 54 millimeter flash fast painted Germans that I'll be using for the Arnhem game. However, um, I still need to do a little bit of detail work on their rifles and uh, a little bit of black here and there um, more than just the flesh and the wash I've done to them but uh, this is all done up quickly uh, it's not uh, a museum diorama and uh, they're 54 millimeter figures so there's a little bit more I guess uh, leeway as regarding of how well 54s are painted compared to 15s, 28s, and so forth. Well, I think that's about it. I'm going to get to work um, gluing all these figures to these poker chips. And uh, I'm hoping if someone watches this video and they received a batch of wargaming stuff or a board game or something, you're already working on it and um, getting off the couch. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. And don't forget, if you're painting plastic figures after you wash them, you need to use a Krylon Bonds to Plastic Paint uh, as your undercoat or your regular paint will not stick. Thank you again. And please subscribe. 